again for a video and I'm with Mr. Honda Street Garage. Hello, how is everyone today? Anyway, today we are in your really awesome Civic and tell me all about it. Okay, so it's a 94 Honda Civic EJ1. Uh, it's an EX model, two-door coupe. Hijacker Civic. Yeah, yeah, it's the hijacker one from the Fast First and Furious. Fast and Furious. The reason why I like this is just because it's got the power sunroof, power windows, but it also has a K20 swap out of a O2 Acura RSX, matching engine and trans, uh, has the K-tuned no-cut shifter box, and it's on the um, JDM Type R ECU, so there's no K Pro. So this is like oh, a. Oh, really? Yeah, this is a full stock experience. I didn't know that. I thought yeah. you would have to use Honda or something like that. Well, the reason why you use the JDM uh, Type R ECU is it doesn't require an immobilizer, so it'll plug That's right nice. up and work. That's insane. Yeah. K swaps, for the most part, they're awesome, no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. But a lot of the times they can get pretty expensive. Yeah. But you had a really nice opportunity compared to a lot of people. I so. did, I did, I did. I was able to thank, thank you so much to Brian from Hospital for hooking me up with some mounts. JB tuned as well for the fuel line he hooked me up with. I have to say, one, the dash is pretty immaculate. One. Thank you. Two, AP1 cluster for yeah. S2000. Yeah, it has the AP1 cluster, which is kind of a big deal because I wasn't initially going to do it. Right. But I had a friend who has a his lazy man garage, Hook a Chris, sent me the cluster for free. Thank you so much. Um, and I did a line by line, wire by wire install. On wow. It. Yeah, because you, out of all the people I've ever met in the car community, you're like, I like wiring. I'm like, <laughs> how do you like wiring? Do you, okay, from somebody who doesn't like wiring, right? Yeah. Do you see it as like a puzzle or a game in a way? Um, to kind of be like, I like figuring it out? Because you're the same way with AC too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm hardcore about AC. This car will have AC in the next month or two. Um, <laughs> mark my words. <laughs> mark my <yeah>. words. <laughs> Honestly, I have a weird way of looking at it, which is I look at it like mowing a lawn. Okay. Because you know when you mow a lawn, you kind of go in a circle and it gets smaller and smaller. Right. Like to me, it's just simple work where you go line by line, wire by wire, and you take your time. It has one right answer. Right, right. Yeah, so it's like a math problem. Yeah. Yeah, which I'm terrible at. <laughs> These are DC2 uh, Integra Type R Recaro seats. They're very comfortable. Thank you. That's yeah. why I got them. They're very comfortable. The uh, suspension is uh, Tane Super Street, so that's to me, that's the most comfortable suspension as well. Yeah. No, I mean... It's interesting because the two-door coupe of this kind of car, you said, didn't exist in Japan? Yeah, they don't have the EJ1 in Japan. They only have the four doors and the hatches. Yeah, and this is just a good-looking car. It's super simple. It's not overzealous. But VTEC hits like at 62, rev limiters at oh, 85. Wow. Whoa. It, well, the, here's the thing. This is what I was going to tell you because I know you like S2000s. Oh, yeah. This thing, to me has an S2000-esque feel because it's not a K24, it's a K20. Right. So it's kind of, not weak, but it's it's a little civil at the lower RPMs. Mm -hmm. When it hits VTEC, it just takes off, it turns into a totally different car. <laughs> what? <laughs> It is a front wheel drive S2K. <laughs> That's what it feels like. That's awesome. Yeah, don't be scared. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, there it is. How are the brakes? Brakes are good. What kind of brake setup? Uh, rear disc and then GSR all the way around. Your tire lettering goes with it. Yeah, it's a little. It's, it's a little... It doesn't, <laughs> but it doesn't look out of place though. A lot of the times people do it and it looks completely out of place. Yeah. And so, but no, it's just a very civil car. And the engine bay is blue, and it used to be pink, you said. Yes, it used to be. Actually, I really like the pink color. A lot of people were like, oh, I'm so glad you changed it to, you know, a <laughs> less feminine color. But it was a pop in pink. It looked really good. Do you get any trouble for the, the yellow headlights? Not in my state. Haven't had, a, haven't had any issues yet. Uh, yeah, well, well, we're both... Which is funny. We're both from Virginia originally. Yes. I grew up in Richmond. You grew up in Virginia Beach. But Virginia then Beach. I went to Virginia Beach for about five years, and uh, I discovered the car seat there. And we were hanging out at Import Alliance recently. And I was like, "Did you go to these car meets?" You're like, "Yeah, dude, I was there." I was like, "Oh my 
my god, the world's intertwined. It's so weird. Car seat's so small. Yeah, it really is. It's so small. Like, the more people you meet, you, they know the other guy you know. Right, right. Um, hey, do you know this guy? Yeah. yeah, but there was a car meet in Virginia Beach that called Gin Rose I used to go to yeah, all the yeah. time, and that got shut down, like, for good, which stinks, because it was an old diner, but it had pictures of every car that had ever been there inside. That's cool. It was super cool. I had to be the Honda guy once. Oh, you gotta, you gotta punch it in second gear, dude. Whoa. Yeah, the, the K series is such a different feeling. Yeah, and it I, really is. I think the number one thing about the K series, though, is it's gearing. Yeah. Because it punches you. When it hits VTEC, it punches you so hard. And you gotta think, they make a. Uh, a transmission with a shorter final drive. Yeah, that's I think like that's the, the yeah, one the, Kevin has. Yeah, yeah. And that thing never let out of power. Uh -uh. Like, it was weird being in an all-motor Honda. This one's the same way, though. Yeah. All-motor Honda where power just doesn't feel like it's gone, ever. Right. And meanwhile, you drive a turbo Civic, and you, you wait for a second to come back. Right. You know what's funny? Stinks. The wheels I had before these, I had RPF ones okay. on this. And they had uh, the Nexon Neogens, or whatever you call them. Yeah. And they were, dude, this car was sliding all oh, over the place. No. They like, it could not hold the power. Not even in VTEC, there we go. Easy, easy as can be, dude. <laughs> David's got more experience than I do. Hey, it's all good. Well, when we were going through the corner, it started swaying a little bit. I was like, oh, we're okay, but. I, because if I let out of it, I feel like we would have gone more under steering. Right, so right, right. It was like, well, we're in it. <laughs> we gotta go for it. it. It does have Type R uh, re front and rear sway bars. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, the whole car, the chassis itself doesn't move. I've seen people do the uh, S2000 cluster, but never this clean. Like it looks OEM. <laughs> Thank like, you. I saw that granular, like, yeah, dude. I know. But <laughs> that's like, that's I'm what dead I try. serious though. Like. It, the plastics and everything you used looks completely stock. Like, it just fit right in. Well, it wasn't easy, I will tell you that. It's kind of tricky to get it to there's, mount in there. There's no way that was easy. Uh, like, the, the way well, I look at that's it. That's what I'm saying. The way it's, it, it wants to sit in there super crooked, so it's a little tricky to get it to sit level. The red door panels you did too? Yeah, the inserts. You said that was $20. 20 bucks, I got a video on that. Uh, basically, you could get the, it's called Jersey fabric, and you can okay. get it off eBay for like 20 bucks. It comes pre-cut. And That's you just nice. you just take the door apart, uh, you know, use uh, what do you call it, like sticky spray or whatever yeah, adhesive so, spray. So eBay used the right way, you know. There you go. <laughs> or another cool thing I'd say about the K motor in this chassis is there's so much room. Yes, that's the beauty so of it. So much room. Be serious for life, dude. And then you did this, you're like, crap. Dude, it, it took me all of 10 minutes to bolt this thing in because you can just get to the rear mount on the B and D series. It's a nightmare. But with with the swap, it's not the motor and trans that's hard to get, really. It's right. everything, everything else. else. It's the mounts. And well, I'll tell you a crazy story is the, the, the one thing I spent money on was the axles. Be I believe it. Because I used, I, I was trying to go cheap, and I used EP3 axles, which oh, on the passenger yeah. side is not long enough. So the second day that I had this car, I snapped an axle, and it was like one of the scariest experiences, oh, dude. Dude, I snapped an axle on my 240 oh one my time, God. and I was like, did I just break my trans? Or did oh, I, it felt crazy? like a wheel fell off, because oh, it, it broke on the inside, not the outside. Oh, And so, so the car funny. was just hopping and jumping everywhere. I th oh, dude, it was horrible, it was scary. You created a monster, look what you've All done. Day. It's like I love it. Like even being in this seat, I love. I just love hearing time? the motor go. Yeah. 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 Well, it just there's no, there aren't any motors like Honda motors, right? I, yeah. They're very different, and even with other four cylinders by other companies, even modern ones, nothing feels like this. Yeah. And even the stock turbo ones nowadays, they feel yeah, so they, different. So different. So different. My obsession when I first got into cars, that's why I loved Hondas, was. I just love the idea of revving really high. That was yeah. like my thing. I was like, yeah, over 9,000. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so good. Like, Break. Yeah, I take it on mountain runs back home. It's perfect. Like, with for just goofing around. Yeah. And we're in an economy car. Yeah. That's what I mean. It was sold as an economy car, like, just to get to work. It's nice. Clutch. There we go. Still going. Hey. And 
the tips, yeah, you can smell the oil. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, oh but, my God, that is a low speed limit. Let's but slow down. the uh, temps are temps are good. Temps are fine. Yeah. Everything is natural though. It doesn't feel like you force this car into submission to have right. a swap. Well, I tried to go for basically a, a like what it would be as if it were a stock, almost a daily driver setup. Like you could, I think you could live with this car every day. You could. It is a little noisy with the, yeah. is that the tires that's noisy? Yeah, the, the okay. tires are actually, they roar. Yeah, the tires loud, but everything else, chassis, everything else is fine. Like you don't get the, you don't have a fully gutted interior, yeah. you don't have any of that. And also the side skirts are sweet. The, those things are cool. PCI side skirts. Yeah, yeah, they're nice. People are like, oh, those are gonna get all bent up and everything, but they're really sturdy. Eh, whatever. Was your first car Honda as well, and that's what sparked it? Or did you just discover Hondas and then we're like, this is the thing? Uh, this is what it was. I, my first car was like a Toyota truck. Okay. And then I had a friend that I was in a band with who, uh, <laughs> back in the day, who taught me to drive a stick in his 91 Accord. Okay. And then yeah. I fell in love with it. And then I had, uh, you know, I, my first like Honda that I bought was a CRX. And okay. That, after yeah. after I bought that thing and took it on the highway, I was I was hooked. I was in love. The Civic. I remember when I was growing up, and I and Civics were getting so big. And I was like, wonder what what is what is with the Civic in particular? Yeah. Because to the untrained eye, it's another car. Right. You know, it's another car going down the road. But when you sit in one, you go. Oh, the way it kind of wraps around you and it, how nimble it feels. And they're, they're fun. Like, yeah. that's just the thing. Honda knew what they were doing, yeah. you know, and, but I don't think they knew what they would start though. Right. You know, I don't yeah. think they'd be like, wait, you're squeezing triple power out of these little <laughs> things we made. The benefit of that is that you can shut down earlier. Yeah. yeah. And then you can go right back to what you were doing. Mm -hmm. um, meanwhile, my Mustang in my 240, I need a football field. Yeah, have fun in. Yeah. With, in, it is fun. You're melting your face. You're like, oh my god, let's go! I got a school of rock solo going in my face right now. Yeah. But man, it is it is hard because you're just constantly worried, right? This is just beat on it, beat on it, beat on it, and that's why when I drove the S2000 my very first time, I was like, I was in love. He just loves it. Now I will say it was a nightmare to bleed this thing. Oh, my oh god. god! It, was, it took me like four days to get it bled. Uh oh. -uh. Uh-oh. Well, on that note, good sir, I appreciate you letting me drive your ride. I know you worked really, really hard on it. It looks great, it sounds great, it drives great. I'm not just sucking up, because he's cool. He's a nice guy, you should go subscribe to Honda Street Garage. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that stupid bell. I had to say it all the, the time. The damn bell. And uh, have a great day, okay, bye. Bye. Hey, you, want clean wheels? Hey, use this, spray on. Let's sit for 45 seconds and turn purple. Spray again with water, clean wheels. Make sure to check out www.pattersoncarcare.com. Made by car dudes, for car dudes.